Good evening. I call for your attention. We are going to start next demonstration in a few minutes with uh, Massimiliano Iocco. He is one of the great master, Italian master, and Massimiliano is, uh, was one of the Fabriani and Aquarello leaders since uh, many years, and uh, our dear friend. Uh, Massimiliano is also today supported by um, Borciani and Bonazzi, who are, we are very proud of, as they are the only brand producing um, uh, brushes in Italy. And they also have grown a lot, and they have uh, done a lot of research, and uh, are helping us a lot with their new products that are really good. Um, Massimiliano is going to start in a few minutes. I give the microphone uh, to Elisa, Alessia, sorry, uh, who is the, uh, brand, um, the brand reference marketing point for Borciani and Bonazzi. And maybe she can tell you a little bit ab about their new research and their work uh, upgrade in relation to uh, the brushes for uh, dedicated to the artist, especially to watercolor. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Massimiliano. <laughs> okay, I'm Alessia Bernardi. I'm a marketing manager for Borciani Bonazzi. Thank you all uh, for being here. It is an honor for us to be here and support Massimiliano Iocco and Fabriano Acquerello. Uh, today, Massimiliano is going to use our new brushes, Unico Infinito. Uh, I think he, uh, he can better explain uh, and show the properties of our new brushes. They are, they are being launching today. You can find them uh, in our booth uh, in the area. Okay, so enjoy the show. Okay. <laughs> While he's starting, before he can get concentrated, I tell you a little bit about this artist. I knew Massimiliano maybe 10 years ago, maybe more, maybe more. And um, he was the one who, more than anyone else, introduced me to the, um, the analysis over the watercolors from the best watercolorists all over the world. That time, Massimiliano was growing his own style and his own technique, and was very much interested in the watercolor world, and was focused on the technique. And it is amazing I, how, in a very few years, Massimiliano, by a self-owned job, um, rise up and could arrive to a very strong style, a, a very elegant style, I would say. And his um, kind of painting, um, uh, I, 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 as much as Tom Schaller, I can say, uh, you can recognize um, among very many. And this is, again, I tell you because I think it is very, very important for an artist to be called artist, to have uh, done this growing and to have done this kind of research and to be focused on his own style. Uh, sometimes Massimiliano is more strong with the colors, sometimes he is very soft, but always, always I can say he is very elegant. Something else that, you uh, know, something else that I must say about him that Mas is that Massimiliano is a great teacher also. Today, today, today we have great, great teachers on this stage. And uh, um, I, I usually don't go to his, his workshop, but the few times I had the occasion to follow Massimiliano at the Fabriani in Aquarello workshop, I'm really surprised on the gift he has, because I think it, it comes natural to him, 
uh, to be able to explain to the, pe to the people how they have to um, uh, grow a relation between the artist and, and or anyone, the painter, um, and the painting that you are doing. And this is important, it is very important, because as you are um, growing this relation with the job you are doing, the more you do, the more you are able to uh, become an expressionist of this art, okay? And he is able to explain step by step all what he is doing because he is able to guess what is your necessity to be known. Now, today, today you speak or you only paint? So we we leave you we leave you the microphone and if you want you can give no okay okay feel feel welcome because okay okay so let's start Okay, they are joking. They say that if this demo is not going to work out the right way, the fault goes to Alessia. That what I'm picking up is uh, from the joke they are doing to each other, is that the intention of Massimiliano is to not to respect the brush, you understand? We don't have, I don't, I, I, as long as I know there is not uh, an English word to say it. In Italian we have a specific word. Um, but he is not going to respect the brush and he is going also to break the brush, to spoil the brush, because he doesn't care about the instrument, but what he cares of is the painting. Is it right, Massimiliano? I'm going to translate, uh, whatever, <laughs> if you want to comment. <laughs> Massimiliano is just back from Sicily, so the, this kind of landscape are still in his eyes. <laughs> The light is still in his eyes, so it's easy to start from there to paint. Okay, I take advantage to give some information on the brushes Massimiliano is using. He is using our series, our Borciani Bonazzi series Unico Infinito. So especially he's using the new liner Unico Infinito, which is a synthetic brush, uh, which is a synthetic fiber called Hydro, uh, with an extra length, so with a considerable length. It's a new one. He has got balanced handle, and uh, a fiber who is extraordinary uh, has got a, an, an extra capacity of absorbency. 
I invite you all to try them then after, after the show. The fine tip uh, allow to do this, this kind of uh, brush stroke. Uh, quick, uh, nervous in a way. Nervous, very nervous. <laughs> It allows to work both on the on tip brush with on the tip using this fine tip and both uh, in under pressure. Okay, I think in this way it's possible to appreciate uh, the absorbency capacity of the brush Unico Infinito is using Massimiliano now with this typical flame head, flame tip. Che la punta fiamma che è Unico Infinito che stai usando adesso ha la punta fiamma.
So I take the microphone while Massimiliano goes on with the um, uh, demonstration because I want to um, focus your attention for one moment in uh, this part of the stage. We did it this morning already, but we must repeat it now because Victoria is here with us and you were not with us this morning. And Victoria, Victoria Gregorieva, We love her very much, independently to everything that happens. We love you, Victoria, you know. But Victoria this year did something incredible. She's a leader from Ukraine. And she took a, tra a bus and she traveled, traveled, traveled to Italy to stay with us in those days. And this means really a lot. In this time of the, his the man of man history, it means really a lot. And when she arrived, she told me she had three works, works, work, three artworks, the only three artworks she was able to make during the war. And we decided that her artwork should stand in the stage. And they are done during the war. And they are a testimony, a witness of the sad period of the horrible things we are living, Victoria is living. And we are living with you, Victoria, actually. And all the pain we see. <laughs> yes, we are supporting you from the bottom of our art and all Ukraine. But you and Igor from really the bottom of, of, of our art. I believe all the people from Fabriani in Aquarello in the past days, in the past months, every day, have been spending a thought for you every moment, moment during their life. Yeah. Yeah, because we always think of you every moment, every moment of our life. And, yeah, and you witness what art is. Art is the main expression of mankind. And art can do a lot. And with this expression, Victoria did a lot. With her journey, she did a lot also. Please, later, when Massimiliano will be finished, go and read the words that are undertitled on the artworks and feel what, what Victoria has felt and that she's expressing to the words, but a lot more better through her art. She's a real artist, really. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. You want to say anything? Yeah. 
I want to thank uh, to all of you. I want to thank to all of you for for all your support. Um, we feel in Ukraine it's uh, every day, and a lot of uh, my friends and uh, friends only on Facebook wrote me every day and ask how are you uh, and uh, support and and help uh, all Ukrainians. Thanks a lot. Thank you. On the other side of the stage, we have decided to put the uh, artwork that Elke Memmler from Germany did and that we have chosen as the witness um, artwork for 2022 Fabrianina Quarello. And we also thank a lot Elke Memmler for the possibility to use it because it gave strength and power to all our communications. Now we go back to Massimiliano and to Bor Borciani and Bonazzi. See, the, see this person what is able to do? In front of a lot of people is, is able to concentrate and do magic. <laughs> and what I want you to know also is that from 2022 we decided to open this stage to the uh, brands, to the producer in Italy and all over the world, um, the, producer, the pr producer of products that are our main partner to paint every day, the paper, uh, the brushes and the colors. And same as this morning we had Winsor and Newton, I told you about the Fabriano paper that is main supporter and exclusive supporter for the paper from this year. We are very proud about Borciani and Bonazzi being on our side, and we are very proud for the research they do in Italy about ecological brushes, that this is very important in this period of human history also, and for the quality that is growing, growing, growing. I, I believe all of you who have had the chance to use one of those beautiful new uh, brushes like Unico Infinito is. Do you, do you know what Unico Infinito means in, in English? Means unique and never ending. It means a lot, not just a name, but also a, um, a destiny for, for, for the, <laughs> for the, for the um, brushes. I leave the microphone to Alessia because I'm sure she can tell you more about this and also about the marketing. You did, why, why did you decide this name? Yes, okay. Thank you, Anna. I take advantage to explain a little bit on why we choose this name, Unico and Infinito, so unique and endless. Uh, unique, Unico, is the name of the brush series because they have got this special handle. They have got this, speci this special shape, uh, balanced handle, which is patented. We do a lot of research and innovation, and it's possible to do this, um, this research and, and do innovation uh, even on fine arts brushes. So we developed this patented handle, which is balanced, which the, don't stress the heart, uh, the, the hand joints. Uh, so the name, uh, the name uh, of the handle is uh, Unico. Uh, Unico has got many different series, and the new one we have launched last year is Unico Infinito. Uh, choosing this name, Infinito, so without with uh, no ends, uh, we think about uh, uh, the fiber, so the hydrofiber, this patented fiber, which uh, is synthetic and uh, is able to get and to retain a lot of water and color, so an infinity quantity of water and color. To, to allow, I use uh, a painting session which is uh, uh, endless, so Infinito. Uh, that allows this, uh, this brush allow not to go back uh, often to the color, so to give a comfortable and unique uh, painting experience. Um, this is uh, the reason of the name of Unico Infinito. And Massimiliano today is using the two new series, which are called E-Liner, so the, with uh, a major length, with an uh, increased length in the fiber, and the other one, the green one, which is using uh, now, uh, which is called Il Mini. So the little one, Unico Infinito, the little one, Il Mini. Because it has got the same properties of Unico Infinito, but in a small form, in small size, let's say. 
maintaining the, the main properties, but in a small size. So it's perfect for the kind of watercolor, the kind of painting he is doing for urban sketching, for watercolor in plein air, for uh, Carnet de Voyage, and for uh, all this kind uh, of painting session. So even in a small size, it's possible to have a generous uh, um, retention of water and color of the medium and is able to work in on the using the fine tip and using uh, all the brush head under pressure. Okay, I don't want you to get bored. If there is any question, I will be, we will be, anche Massimiliano, <laughs> we'll be happy to reply. <laughs> I don't want to break his concentration, so. <laughs> okay, I think he's showing perfectly this kind of use, so the use on tip and under pressure. Uh, what uh, this uh, series, Unico Infinito, is uh, especially able to do is uh, uh, give satisfaction in the change of brush strokes, so passing from one brush stroke to the, to the other in the movement. I just add some words on the liner, the one Massimiliano is using now, so Unico Infinito Series 856, uh, uh, which is uh, named the liner, with the uh, extra length of the fiber, uh, but at the same time with the generous uh, capacity of absorbency. So even if it's a liner, uh, able to do thin line and paper thin lines, uh, it, it, it amazes for the capacity of the reservoir.
as Anna was saying before, in Borciani Bonazzi, we believe a lot in uh, research and innovation, so we do a lot of research, especially on sustainable materials. I want to underline that uh, the handle of this brush is made in resin, so it's not wood. It's made in resin, and it is a material, a sustainable material, which can last forever. And uh, our innovation go exactly in this direction, so in the direction of synthetic fibers, in which we believe a lot, and uh, uh, in uh, handle, in, um, in this kind of material, in this kind of sustainable materials, and with this shape, uh, which can be ergonomics, uh, and help uh, the, the work uh, of the artist. Ah, uh, uh, now it's working. I don't know how much you know about history of art, especially in Italy, but for sure all of you know knows, knows about Impressionist. When I watch at Massimiliano uh, working and when I see at his painting, I always think about Machiaioli. Does this make sense to any of you? Machiaioli was a group uh, of Italian painters, very, very great people, who were in Italy in the same period as the Impressionist artists were in Paris, in France, the beginning of the 19th, the, em the end of the 18th century, the beginning of the 19th. Maybe the Machiaioli were a little bit before in Italy. And um, the Impressionist were uh, call impressionist because they wanted to paint the impressions of the color, the impressions, the mood of the place, and the impressions of the light. The Machiaioli were very similar uh, in their um, um, uh, task, uh, but they, they were called Machiaioli, that means spot, also dirty spot because they used to paint in, in spot of a color dropped on the, on the paper or on the canvas because they mostly painted, they, they painted a lot of watercolor, but mostly they painted uh, oleo, oil. And uh, Massimiliano reminds me a lot about the Machiaioli. And, and uh, some time ago I told him, I told him, Massimiliano, you are becoming a Machiaiolo. Uh, and he said, yes. This is good that you notice because I like them. And actually, I think he has a very strong own style, but actually Massimiliano has a lot from the people from that period that is far ago and that uh, it is a style that was never recognized at the moment because it was too new and in Italy. Um, the people was not able to understand the importance of what those people were doing. And I'm proud that Massimiliano took it back. And I'm, I'm proud that Massimiliano took it back in watercolor with those shapes or color of dirty colors that remind them a lot. Thank you, Massimiliano, for doing it. You are doing the, the new history. Any of you, of you has anything to ask? Because we try to, to ask and maybe translate.
Bassi. I was asked this morning that once you are finished to show the photos from where you took the paintings, because for uh, the audience it's very important to understand where your paintings come from and what it is like, and they can understand how you have interpreted. Massimiliano, I remind you that the painting is going to the International Watercolor Museum as a witness of Fabriano in Aquarello 2022 and a witness because in the museum Massimiliano already has uh, a number of paintings, but this is going to be a witness on how much you have grown in the years and how much you have changed and organized your uh, artistic vision. Now, in a few minutes, once Massimiliano is finished, we start the workshop uh, with Still Life uh, done by Giovanni Balzarani. And the, I remind you that the workshops is a closed number only for the people who um, book for it. And um, in the same time, in the Are Arena Fico, we are going to have another performance with Karsten uh, Rieland and Karsten uh, um, Rieland and Irene Grande. And so you can choose between the two. And Massimiliano is saying that he is by having finished. So if you can please show us the photos, because I never remember to ask this to the artist, but it is very important.
perché lì vedrete tutto. There he would see all the defects, right? All the fault. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Bravo. Grazie. Bravo. Grazie. Bravo. Grazie. Sì, sì, certo, certo. Ah, voglio... Sì.